Hello everybody. In the last video, we have seen what is the convolution theorem. What is the convolution theorem? So we have seen that convolution theorem statement is that if you have two functions l, f, and g, then Laplace transform of the convolution of these two function is the product of the Laplace transformation of each of the function, right? And if we take Laplace inverse on both sides, so you will get you will get a L inverse of L of F star G is equal to L inverse of let us call it F of P and let us call it G of P so you have F P into G P right so here L and L inverse will cancel so you'll get F star G this is a function uh, is equal to L inverse of F P into G P right now these both uh, this one and this one both are the equivalent statements of convolution theorem and we will see that this this particular statement is uh, more useful uh, in uh, when you deal with questions as compared to this statement right so let us do some uh, problems based on the uh, convolution suppose you have this uh, question that you want to find l inverse of 1 upon p minus 2 raised to power 4 p minus 3 so you want to find it now uh, till now what you know if you don't want to apply convolution then you make you make partial fractions and for that you see you because here is the fourth power so you need to do a upon p minus 2 plus b upon p minus 2 square plus c upon p minus 2 cube plus d upon p raised to p minus 2 raised to power 4 plus e upon p minus 3 okay so you can do that there is no problem but let us try to use the convolution here here you see what is this this is 1 upon p minus 2 raised to power 4 into let me not use the star for the product because that star we are using for convolution into 1 upon p minus 3 right now you treat it as one function fp and treat it another function as gp right l inverse right okay now according to convolution theorem this is f star g of x where f is laplace inverse of fp and g is laplace inverse of gp right now this comes from convolution theorem right so let us see now this is l inverse of this is your fp right one upon p minus 2 raised to power 4 so you know how to take the Laplace inverse here you know you will take the Laplace inverse for that you will use the first shifting so this is e raised to power 2x l inverse of 1 upon p raised to power 4 so this is equal to e raised to power 2x what is the Laplace inverse of 1 upon p raised to power 4 that is x cubed by 3 factorial that is 6 and here this is l inverse of 1 upon p minus 3 and we know this is e raised to power 3x okay so we get our fx and we get our gx therefore our answer which is l inverse of 1 upon p minus 2 raised to power 4 p plus 3 that will be f star g where f is this function and g is this function right so you can just take f star g by definition is 0 to x f of t g of x minus t dt right so this is equal to 0 to x e raised to power 2x uh, 2t you see this is e f x now you want to write f t so you'll replace x with t so e raised to power 2t t cube by 6 now this is g x you want g x minus t it means that you will replace x with x minus t e raised to power 3 x minus t dt so this is equal to e raised to power 3 x will come out uh, because we are integrating with respect to just a minute this is okay fine fine so it we are integrating with respect to t so you have e raised to power 3x in the bracket the 6 will also come out in the integral you have 0 to x t cube e raised to power minus 3t dt right now you can integrate it by parts so let us do this e raised to power 3x by 6 first function integration of second function minus differentiation of first function 3t square integration of second function plus differentiation of first function that is 60 integration of second function 
minus differentiation of first function that is 6 integration of second function that is e raised to the minus 3t by 81 and then you have limits from 0 to x so this is equal to e raised to the power 3x by 6 now you put this limit x here when you put this limit here what you will get just a minute I made a mistake here you have this uh, e raised to the power 2t also right fine so this is equal to e raised to the power 3x by 6, 0 to x, t cube e raised to the power minus t dt. Right? So integration by parts will change. Let us do it again. So you will have this equal to e raised to the power 3x by 6 as such. Now you do integration by parts. First function integration of second function minus differentiation of first function integration of second function plus differentiation of first function integration of second function minus differentiation of first function integration of second function now you put limit 0 to x so this is e raised to power 3x by 6 now you put x so you'll get x cube e raised to power minus x minus 3x square e raised to power minus x plus 6x e raised to minus 6 x e raised to the minus x minus 6 e raised to the minus x and when you put 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 here you will get plus 6 right so you get this is your answer now you can further simplify it but this is the required answer right so this is how you can proceed using the convolution finding the inverse let us do one more example Although this is quite simple, but I, I just want to do some problems so that you have an idea. Suppose you have this question. Find L inverse of 1 upon P square P square plus 16 by using convolution theorem. Right. So this is what you want. So here you see this is your FP and this is 1 upon this is your GP right so you have fp is equal to 1 by p square and gp equal to 1 upon p square plus 16 so from here you get fx is your l inverse of fp that is l inverse of 1 by p square that is your x right and then you have g of x is equal to l inverse of gp that is l inverse of 1 upon p square plus 4 uh, plus 16 so here you multiply with 4, uh, 64 and divide with 4 right so you'll get this is l inverse of 4 upon p square plus 16 that is sine 40 divided by 4x divided by 4 right and according to convolution theorem l inverse of 1 upon p square into 1 upon p square plus 16 is f star g where f is your x and g is your sine 4x by 4 right now it's your choice you can because you see here in in the g function you have to take x minus t so it's your choice if you want to make this this is same as g star f right we have already done so that will be easier so we can do this like this so this is 0 to x g of t f of x minus t dt so this is equal to 0 to x g of x is sine 4x by 4 f of x minus t is x minus t dt you want to integrate with respect to t so this here it is t gt right so this will be uh, in the first term you will have x outside 0 x by 4 outside 0 to x sine 4 t dt and in the second you will have 1 by 4 outside 0 to x t sine 4 t dt right here you integrate you'll get minus cos 4 t upon 4 0 to x minus 1 by 4 here you integrate by parts first function integration of second function minus cos 4t by 4 minus differentiation of first function integration of second function sine 4t by 16 0 to x so you will get here x by 4 when you put x you will get minus cos 4x by 4 then you put a 0 you will get plus 1 by 4 and here this is minus 1 by 4 when you put x you will get minus x cos of 4x by 4 and here you will get plus sine 4x by 16 when you put a 0 this is 0 and this is 0 right so this is what you get so this is equal to now we can just 
check the calculations what we are uh, getting so you'll get you see this uh, this term and this term will cancel because they are same with opposite signs so you'll get uh, you have this x by 16 term and then here you have minus sine 4 x by 64 now you can write it as 1 by 16 x minus sine 4 x by 4 so this is your answer so this is how you proceed right let us do one more problem suppose you have this problem solve the initial value problem y double prime plus 16 y is equal to cos of 4x y of 0 is 0 y dash of 0 is 0 and using Laplace transformation this is your question Laplace transformation and convolution theorem right so you have to make the use of a Laplace transform as well as convolution theorem suppose this is your problem so let us solve it so what you will do you will take the Laplace transform on both sides so what you will get you will get L of y double prime plus 16 y is equal to L of cos of 4x right now this is equal to p square l of y minus p y of 0 minus y dash 0 right this formula we already know plus 16 l of y is equal to right hand side you will get p upon uh, p square plus 16 right okay now this is given to be 0 this is given to be 0 so you get p square plus 16 right equal to uh, into l of y equal to p upon p square plus 16 so you get l of y is equal to 1 upon p square plus 16 into p upon p plus 16 p square plus 16 now you want to compute y for so for that you have to take laplace inverse on both sides so what you'll get you'll get y is equal to l inverse of 1 upon p square plus 16 1 p upon p square plus 16 now you will use the convolution theorem you treat it as fp treat it as gp so this is equal to by convolution theorem f star g by convolution theorem right where f is l inverse of 1 upon p square plus 16 which is equal to sine 4t by 4 right and your g is l inverse of see it doesn't matter you make it f for g because uh, uh, this uh, convolution is commutative anyway p upon p square plus 16 so this is your cost 40 right so this is what you get so now you can do this f star g thing so now we want f star g that is equal to 0 to x ft g of x minus t dt so this is 0 to x ft is your sine 40 by 4 and gt is your cos 4 x minus t dt right and you have this you have to integrate it you can just do this using the formula you multiply with 2 divide with 2 then you use 2 sine a cos b right so you will get the answer is 1 by 8 x sine 4 x so this is your answer right. this is how you uh, proceed with the things uh, using thank you for watching our video please do share and subscribe and also you can join our channel for paid membership we have three plans 59 89 and 119 right for this you have this uh, three live sessions in a month and for this you have three live sessions plus uh, one video of your own choice of your own choice you can send us the topic uh, and we will create a video in a week and we will send you back or we will upload on, a, uh, on our channel and plus in this 119 you will have your own pdf notes own pdf notes for a particular playlist you can go into the join button you can click the button and you will have a detailed information about that right and this money 
this only uh, this will not help only help you but it will also help us to create this uh, quality mathematics content for everybody right so uh, so we we are creating these videos for free and we want that everybody should have a quality mathematics education so whatever you are uh, contributing it is kind of donation also it will be you know it will help us in um, scaling up our channel for more videos and we will try to cover as much as topics as possible thank you for your support please uh, share this video and keep supporting thank you